back to the Big Bass Dreams channel. I am your host today. I am Oliver Nye. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel here as well as my personal channel. That way you guys don't miss on special events like today. And I got a special treat for yourselves and myself. And today we're going to have a little hustle and a little flow. I'm driving a couple hours south here. I'm currently in Minnesota, probably what you would call north central Minnesota, uh, back down to the cities. And I'm gonna jump in a little rinky dink boat apparently with my man Seth the fighter man So we're gonna catch some largemouth hopefully and uh, just catch up have a good time uh, Timing was kind of short. I just rolled into Minnesota. He's rolling out soon to uh, go compete in New York, so uh, Stay tuned should be uh, a lot of fun a lot of laughs and uh, hopefully I don't get a trouble hook the back of my head again. Seth actually did that to me before Maddie did, so it's a good thing I got a thick skull. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you guys a quick little Texas rig setup. Got these little stoppers here, just gonna run them on the line. 20 pound floor, we're good. Yeah. Three eighth ounce tungsten bullet sinker. And tell me your thoughts on these ringed hooks, man. It's just the one I've always used. I've, like my hooking percentage seems the best on it. I don't know. That's rad. I don't got a scientific reason for it. It's just... You just know you like it. I don't lose any on it. Hmm. You'll see. All right. All right. Hard to get out, too. Straight, Interesting. Now I can see where they kind of lose some leverage on that. Yeah. Right? They can shake their heads and such. It's gonna Texas rig this bad boy. Hmm. Expose it. A uh, little green pumpkin bottle shrimp there. Voila. No, like, I've never caught a six pounder in this lake. But really? A lot of four. two and a half to four and a half. Five, like, a, I caught a couple fives last time I was out, but they're kind of rare. A lot of days I don't catch a five pounder here. How many fish do you normally catch in a session? Yeah, it depends. Like, the first. Ron usually like 70. 70, 70. And then it just <laughs> keeps fucking. <laughs> like I was out here last week with my dad for a couple hours. We only caught like 12. Oh, yeah. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Have you messed with it yet? I definitely do like that 300 size Lexa more for the large drop than the 400. Really? 400 is like twice the reel. Stick em. like most of these northern strain large mouth are though yeah they're always just deep body they don't really yeah. get like that big windsock deal like we get them in california or even in texas <laughs> down to 50 percent oh yeah tighten up <laughs>
for me. You kind of far from water where you grew up? Uh, I was like 15 minutes from my little version of this. Yeah. Couldn't ride my bike there. It was probably like 15 miles and like up these crazy hills. Yeah. I ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd go like 11 miles the other way to like a much more urban. Time I was here, I didn't get many bikes, but they're all like, good ones. These are like, you don't catch too many this size here, like, normally. Is that one of the smaller ones from the other day? No, I, don't, I didn't catch one of the smaller ones. Like oh, wow. Like, it's pretty light. The way they're running with it, though. You could barely tell you how to bite last time I was here. When they fire, like, wherever either one of us hooks up, like, Okay. If it does ever fire, I don't know. It gets kind of crazy sometimes. They'll just come up schooling, huh? Not schooling, but like, like literally your bait don't hit the bottom. Just boom, mm. boom. Like, it just happened. Oh, you motherfucker. You bite? I got a bite. Probably a bluegill tapping on my tentacles. Because I'm missing one. Oh, no. <laughs> That ain't no bluegill. Oh. <laughs> Rough day. Rough day. Fishing tournament right now. Should get that back. Uh oh. Yes. Dead stick. The dead stick. A good one too, isn't it? Yeah. Man, it must be real good right now. Huh? <laughs> it must be real good right now. Uh, we found a little water. Oh gosh. Hey, look at that. Caught a fish. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Check it out. Ring hook. I can dig it. This is the first time I've actually tried a ring hook. Uh, fishing Texas rig. We used to use these things a lot, saltwater fishing back in the day. Yeah. Made all the difference. Oh, oh no. dude, I got freaking whacked. Maybe we freaking found some fish. The dead stick. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Turd on. Little Texas rig turd. Pretty tough, huh? Yeah, not going well today. I'm gonna improvise. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> Just did that. <laughs> Try that again. It's a good thing tungsten's environmentally friendly. Yeah. Cheap. Too. They're not expensive, right? No. <laughs> Going straight hook this time? Straight chain? I'm trying her out. Nobody has been catching him on this. Hmm. I'm trying his rig. Here we 
your polymer guy. No. Oh. Shark nut. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Good night. Is that your go-to connection out That's there? That's me, yeah. This is Bray, then I'm just back to a polymer. Damn. Simple enough? Yeah. Not fancy, but cool. Let's see if it makes a difference. Bait stealer. Yeah. Locked up when you hit him. Yeah. You had one. Hey, chunker. I will definitely take it. Because I have been sucking this morning. Yeah. It's not happening. Hey, out off the edge. Well, the adjustment worked. Biggest bass in this lake, or so. Right <laughs> they just live on that rock. Yeah. Usually <laughs> some good ones. On it. Yeah. That was almost a double. Almost. Pretty close. This can't be it. The rock's literally like. That's an active one. <laughs> Dude, I didn't feel like where we caught him before. Hmm. Right there. They dumping that thing pretty proper, or is it? Yeah, it's kind of swimming off with it. They look like smallmouth. Yeah. With us, <laughs> nice save. That llama agility right there came in handy, man. <laughs> Where you point that? <laughs> well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed yourselves here. It's always good catching up with my man. Oh, yeah, he's headed out on the road, right? Yeah, yeah. Off to New York. New York, New York, big city of dreams, or upstate New York anyway. Yeah.
So wish him a man look. Make, Thank yeah, you. Make sure you guys follow him on the gram. You got you got a YouTube yet? Nah. Not yet, huh? Nah, I'm old school. Word, word, word. So follow him on the gram. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description below. Appreciate you guys tuning in, man. And uh, stay tuned. More, yeah. more, more stuff to come from Minnesota. Hell yeah, God's country. That's what's up. Man, how cool is that? Kept it pretty short for you guys. Uh, you know, uh, it's cool being friends with guys that are at the top of the game. I and mean, a lot of those conversations need to stay private, if you feel me. But uh, big shout out to Seth for uh, taking time out of his day on his busy schedule, or in his busy schedule to squeeze me in. Uh, we got to uh, swing on some, some largemouth, so great time. Make sure you guys support him on the tour. Go on his Instagram, let him know that you watched this video and uh, look forward to seeing him uh, continue to succeed on the highest level. So uh, aim high, dream big, baby. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment, and uh, turn those notifications on. I'll see you when I see you. Peace.